She's back. She's back. She's back. She's back. She's back by the grace of God. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What is going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for being so loyal and checking out all the videos. I really appreciate your time and your attention. I know you're all locked up, and I hope you're exercising. I hope you're meditating. I hope you're taking care of yourself. If you didn't yet check out yesterday's video about Amberlynn, go check it out. It has a really good message that got a little bit misconstrued, but I'm going to clarify for a second here right now. What I said yesterday was not that you should be going off your medication. I'm not saying that medication is useless. What I am saying is that the sick care system in this fucking country is borderline fucking useless because medical practitioners do not have the time, do not have the resources, and do not have the education and the skills to implement a complete wellness package or lifestyle approach to their patients. It's pills, 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 pills. But I think we can all agree that just taking a pill without sleeping right, without consuming good information and not eye fucking yourself with Netflix and blue light all the time, not sleeping, not hydrating, not exercising, not eating basic quality foods, being anxious all the time, stressing yourself out, breathing in pollution, whether you are taking medication or not, you should be addressing your nutrition, your exercise, your other mental health approaches. Everything together, all encompassing, do not ignore the things that you can control. That's what I'm saying. If you're a type one diabetic, I'm not telling you not to take your fucking insulin. Take care of yourselves, do you, and listen to what your doctor says. I don't care if a doctor is making a YouTube video, your doctor needs to tell you what to do. That's what a healthcare team does. That being said, let's get on with some more sack. But I think most of you got that message. Thank you for being here. For those of you that are brand new to the Swole Fam, Welcome to the Swole Fam. Check out the links down in the description below for the Daily Swole podcast and also for Swolenormous X. I've mentioned this in the last several videos, the Swole at Home special is still going on. So if you want to start practicing meditation, you want to start taking some yoga classes, some Swolga classes with Papa Swolio, you have mobility workouts, you have seven minute workouts that you can do even if you're still working supply chain, even if you're still busy, you can still get your mobility with the Swollen 7 workouts. And of course, all the programs, all the training in Swole Normous X can be done at home and you can stream it on your phone, your TV, laptop, computer, everywhere, so check out the link down below for SwoleNormousX.com. A lot of you in 2019 started following my channel because I made videos about Brittany Dawn. And you might remember her coaching scandal where she was literally just cut and paste, pumping out bullshit programs and not offering refunds and not delivering. That was the major thing. She wasn't delivering on what she said she would deliver on. She complained that she got overwhelmed and she blah, 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 blah. You remember, you can go and check out all my previous videos. A lot of them are probably still popping up in uh, trending or in suggested videos, but she did not deliver on what she said she would deliver on. Now, just by looking at her original content, I am shocked that she was selling so much, but very common for influencers to have a big business because they get a lot of attention, they do lifestyle vlogs, their life looks wonderful, everyone wants to follow them, everyone wants to be that person, so they have a lifestyle package or a coaching package or a fitness package or a nutrition thing or a detox tea or blah, 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 affiliate links. People are like, hey, this person has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. This person has a couple million followers. They must be someone that knows what they're talking about. They must be a resource. And a lot of people follow them, so they must follow them for a reason. Let me purchase their product. And a lot of them get really disappointed. A lot of big time influencers, this is nothing new, okay? A lot of businesses are shitty businesses because they're run by shitty people. And a lot of influencers have had these issues where people have purchased something from an influencer online, whether it's Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or whatever it is, and they get disappointed. They get shafted because the person isn't really running a business. They have attention because they make funny videos or they have a good body. And all of a sudden they create a product because someone says, hey, you can make a lot of money. They start making a lot of money, but then they realize, oh crap, I have to deliver and they fall short. 
So it's very important to have a quality product before your product is going to speak for itself. Quality marketing and quality pictures and all that stuff is not going to overcome a shitty product. So if your shitty product or your shitty service, you can't cover it up. It's going to come out eventually. You're going to lose business. You're going to have a failed business if your product or service sucks. So that has to be paramount. So Brittany went through this whole thing where she just got dragged through the mud. She literally essentially scammed her audience. And there were complaint groups. There were private groups. Thousands of people were complaining. Everyone was making videos and I made a ton of videos. And a lot of you followed me because of those videos. So she's back at it again. She's back at it. Of course, she never left, but now she has a new audience that maybe didn't do a lot of searching. Or she has a lot of people that are in denial of what actually happened. They maybe liked her product or service. They thought she got the short end of the stick or people were exaggerating. So there's always those people that will like your content or support you no matter what. So she still has those comments and those little people in that bubble that maybe don't know her past from last year or maybe just don't care. So she's on this new platform. Apparently now there's, there's so many platforms for creators. All these little tiny sites are trying to be the next YouTube, the next connect with people or offer services and have these little marketing slash social networks where creators can create content, but also make money kind of like Patreon, but um, you know, other things like that. There's a lot of platforms out there. This one, Wizio, W-I-S-I-O, wizio.com slash Brittany Dawn. So she has a brand new page where she's selling services. So I'm going to read through these two services that she's offering. The first one is a new service that says it's titled Let's Talk Faith. So apparently since we last saw Brittany Dawn, she has gone full blown God mode. She has leveled up and now she is speaking the truth of our Lord and fucking savior. So it says, tell me about yourself. What questions do you have? Not sure where to start on your walk with Christ? Let's chat and I'll help guide you. His love and grace are endless. So that's $25. So if you want to um, talk to Brittany about faith and about God for $25, you can do so. Her other service uh, says, help you see your potential. And the caption is, staying strong can be hard when rough waters come. I've been there. <laughs> oh, yes, you certainly have, Britt. You have certainly been through rough waters. And I get it. Share with me anything that has been difficult for you lately, and I'll offer any advice, wisdom, and guidance that I can. Taking advice and guidance from Brittany Dawn, like getting advice from Hitler on how to build a strong community. You're taking advice from Brittany Dawn. I mean, there's no good analogy. I can't even think of a proper analogy. It's just so asinine to think that you should be taking advice from this woman, okay? So this was actually posted in Brittany Dawn Fitness Complaints. And this person says, quote, her latest attempt at making money, charging people for a video message from her. It's not even a video chat, just a recorded message with her, quote, advice, wisdom, and guidance, or her advice about Jesus, dot, 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 very interesting. It's not even a conversation, it's just a fucking video. She's paying $25 for a video in which she talks about Jesus or God. The comments are hysterical in themselves. Let's go through a few of them. $25, LOL. What idiot would pay for this? Seriously, this has got to be a joke. How desperate is she? What the actual fuck? Um, can't you get this shit for free on YouTube? LOL. How the fuck is this legal? You've got to be kidding me. People are really desperate if they are paying for this. I'm so confused. $25 for her to talk to you? That's so weird. Can someone please spend $25 to tell her what a piece of crap she is? Okay, cool. She is just gross, and I smell the comments closing soon. Self-appointed nutrition specialist, non-certified trainer turned life planning expert slash counselor, hilarious. People, this is what a scam artist does. This is what a hustler does. This is what a snake oil salesman does. They keep on coming back for more and more and more. This is what gave all those marketers a bad reputation because they eye fuck you with bullshit ads. Make a six figure business, seven figure income, blah, 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 blah. Just do this, just do this. Hey, run your own Amazon business in two seconds and make thousands of dollars overnight without even working. Hard work, there's no replacement. In fitness, in meditation, in your own personal health and wellness, just with your business, hard work is absolutely undeniable. If you want results and real results, 
There's no replacement for hard fucking work. And for whatever reason, she just keeps on coming back. I don't understand how fucked up you can be. Talk about screws fucking loose. And anyone that gives this chick money, I mean, she has to go to like the corners of the internet to Wizio, where the fuck that is, to try to make a buck. Because if you appeal to authority, if you sling the G word around enough, everyone's gonna follow you. We know that. We have those ridiculous, asinine fucking big mega churches and those online, you know, donation displays where people are fucking getting pushed down by the, the breath of God and all that fucking crap. One of her most recent posts says, no movies, no concerts, no sports, no restaurants, no social gatherings, limited workload. Now that I've cleared your schedule, dot, dot, dot. Can we talk? God. It's all about what angle you use, it's all about how you use the language and how you leverage it. Now, I don't care whether or not you believe in God or a higher power. That's not what this is about. What it is about is a fucking sleazy, sleazy person that will use any fucking angle possible to attack prey to feed herself. No joke, fam, this stuff is absolutely fucking disgusting. Just the fact that scratching and clawing every little last corner, she will try to cover to keep on peddling her wares. So if you wanna go talk to God, talk to Jesus, talk to Brittany Don, more, more. Leveraging this fucking bullshit appeal to authority. It sickens me when people use religion as a fucking weapon, especially to make money. This is disgusting, scum-like shit. So what are your thoughts? Drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about SwoleNormousX.com and the Swole at Home special, you can do so. Click the link in the post description and I'll see you next time for some more sack. Peace. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. Come talk to me about Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Shut up. I talk is talk. Just think what you have, stop looking at trans, you wear your outfit, stop it.